You're watching the news on Bahrain International. I'm Mohammed Shaban. Good evening. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa al-Khalifa received the Glebia Palace today. The President of Serbia, Alexander Vocek, and his accompanying delegation on the occasion of his visit to the Kingdom of Bahrain. Upon arrival at Glebia Palace, the Serbian President was welcomed with the official reception protocols. The anthems of both countries were also played. سلام جمهورية صربيا وسلام مملكة البحرين
The Serbian president and his accompanying delegation were also welcomed by His Majesty the King's personal representative, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamid Al Khalifa. His Majesty the King's representative for humanitarian work and youth affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamid Al Khalifa. And first deputy chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamid Al Khalifa, in addition to members of the Bahraini delegation. يسعدني أن أرحب بفخامتكم ضيفا كريما وصديقا عزيزا لمملكة البحرين وذلك بالنظر إلى ما يربط بلدينا الصديقين من علاقات طيبة نتطلع معكم وبكل حماس نحو تعزيزها وتطويرها في مختلف المجالات خدمة لمصالحنا المشتركة إننا في مملكة البحرين نعتبر زيارتكم لبلادنا زيارة تاريخية قيمة نعتز بها باعتباركم أول رئيس لجمهورية صربيا الصديقة نسعد بقدومه وهو ما نعتبره مؤشرا هاما على عمق روابطنا وعلاقاتنا القائمة على الاحترام والتقدير المتبادل فخامة الرئيس إن زيارتكم لمملكة البحرين لهي خير فرصة بالنسبة لنا لتأسيس إطار ثابت للمشاورات السياسية والاستمرار التنسيق فيما بيننا حول القضايا الإقليمية والدولية ذات الاهتمام المشترك والتي نتطلع لتفعيلها من خلال مذكرة التفاهم بين وزارة الخارجية في البلدين وما سينتج عنها من آليات عمل يتفق عليها بعون الله وتمثل هذه الخطوة المباركة على طريق تعاوننا المثمر المناسبة المثالية للتباحث حول سبل عملنا المشترك في المجالات الاقتصادية والتجارية وفي قطاعات السياحة والزراعة والاستثمار في الموارد الطبيعية بهدف تنمية مصالحنا المشتركة وتقوية مواقفنا الدولية لخير بلدينا وبالإسهام في رخاء العالم وسلامة وختاما نكرر الترحيب بفخامتكم متمنين لكم إقامة طيبة وسعيدة في بلدكم الثاني مملكة البحرين فأهلا وسهلا بكم ضيوفا كراما بيننا والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. Your Majesty. After that, the President of Serbia gave the following speech. An appreciation for your cordial welcoming words and warm reception, which I was able to experience as of the first moment I had arrived to your beautiful and friendly country. The Kingdom of Bahrain is a country that is geographically far from Serbia, but a country that is close to our hearts and a country that provided unselfish and prompt support in moments of need by sending us significant amounts of medical assistance last January, and this is something that we will never forget. My visit to the Kingdom of Bahrain is an indicator of continuation of cherishing ties of friendship and good relations, but even beyond that, it is a window of numerous opportunities for cooperation to the prosperity and benefit of our two countries and our nations. We are committed and devoted to further deepening of political and economic relations between the Republic of Serbia and the Kingdom of Bahrain, and I am looking forward to fruitful discussions on various matters. Your Majesty, 
I avail myself of this opportunity to underline how honored and privileged I would be if you would accept my invitation to visit the Republic of Serbia, and if I would be given the opportunity to host you in Belgrade, and that you, as a dear guest of our country, would be able to experience famous and traditional Serbian hospitality. Once these difficult and gloomy times, filled with uncertainties caused by the global COVID-19 pandemic are behind us, I truly hope and believe that we'll be able to put in practice all the mechanisms we find appropriate and suitable for achieving common goals, but also for contributing to global good, prosperity and well-being. Thank you once again for welcoming us to your beautiful country, and please accept, Your Majesty, the assurances of my highest consideration. Thank you. Then His Majesty the King held discussions with the President of Serbia and reviewed with him relations of friendship and cooperation between both countries, mainly in the economic, commercial, investment, cultural and touristic fields. Both leaders also exchanged views on the latest regional and international developments and the efforts made by both countries to deal with the coronavirus COVID-19 pandemic and contain its fallout. His Majesty the King held a lunch banquet in honor of the Serbian President and his accompanying delegation. The mission of honor was formed under the presidency of the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdelatif bin Rashid. As Zayani. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al-Khalifa delegated National Guard Commander General His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa al-Khalifa to attend the horse races for His Majesty the King's Cup Festival for horse racing, which consisted of six rounds and was organized by the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club this afternoon on the club's racing track in Rafah Sakhir. The race was attended by the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad al-Khalifa, the first Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, Chairman of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad al-Khalifa, the Chairman of the High Authority of the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and the Vice President of the Supreme Council for the Environment, Deputy Chairman of the High Authority of the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club, His Highness Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid Al Khalifa. The race was also attended by a number of their Highnesses. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa crowned the winners of the Cups of His Majesty the King, where His Highness presented the Cup of His Majesty the King for Arabian horses to His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and also presented the Cup of His Majesty the King for domestic bred horses to Fawzi Nas. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed presented the King's Cup for imported horses to His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa. Then His Highness Sheikh Mohammed presented the Charter Cup to His Highness Sheikh Sultan Al Din bin Mohammed bin Salman Al Khalifa and presented the Rafah Cup to His Highness Sheikh Salman bin Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa. While His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received the Tetsul Sabrine Cup from a representative of the company.
His Royal the Crown Prince and Prime Minister and Chairman of the Economic Development Board, President Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, today received the President of Republic of Serbia, Alexander Vocek, on the occasion of the President's visit to the Kingdom of Bahrain at the EDB headquarters. His Royal the Crown Prince highlighted the importance of further strengthening economic, trade and investment ties between Bahrain and Serbia for the benefit of both countries, underlining the efforts to deepen bilateral cooperation that have the full support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. The President of Serbia was later shown a presentation on the EDB's scope of work, including its role in promoting sustainable economic growth in accordance with the comprehensive Bahrain Economic Vision 2030. The presentation also detailed the facilities provided by the EDB to investors, promising investment opportunities within the Kingdom of Bahrain, as well as the role played by the Kingdom's sovereign wealth fund, Home Telecat, in developing cooperation with international markets. Furthermore, economic and investment opportunities across various sectors in Serbia were also reviewed, together with the support provided to investors to access the European market. Regional and international issues of common concern Concern were also discussed. For his part, the President of Serbia expressed his gratitude for the opportunity to meet His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and highlighted His Royal Highness's commitment to supporting Bahrain Serbia ties. A number of senior government officials also attended the meeting. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, met with the President of Serbia, Alexander Vocek, at his residence in Bahrain yesterday. His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa presented the Serbian President with a welcome letter from His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa on the occasion of his visit to the Kingdom of Bahrain. His Majesty the King's representative for humanitarian work and youth affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, has lauded the constant support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the honorary president of the Royal Humanitarian Foundation, the RHF, for charity and humanitarian work, as well as his interest in helping needy and stricken people. His Highness Sheikh Nasser also praised the support of the government led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa for charity work. His Highness Sheikh Nasser also paid tribute to the members of the RHF's executive management for their distinguished role in serving orphans, widows, 
and poor people in Bahrain and abroad, lauding the generous contributions of the Bahraini people to the projects implemented by the RHF. His Highness Sheikh Nasser made the statements marking the RHF's winning the Prince Mohammed bin Fahed Award for Best Charity Performance in the Arab World for the second session 2019-2020, organized in partnership with the Arab League's Arab Organization for Administrative Development under the theme Towards a Better Future for Institutional Charitable Work in Arab Nations. On the occasion, His Highness Sheikh Nasser stressed that the great accomplishments reflect His Majesty the King's patronage of charitable and humanitarian work, particularly the royal care for widows and orphans in Bahrain and abroad. His Highness Sheikh Nasser added that the achievements also reflect the tremendous relief and humanitarian efforts exerted by the kingdom to support people who are suffering from conflicts, wars and natural disasters, noting that Bahrain has always been at the forefront in extending and helping a hand to the needy, as well as in implementing development projects that ensure protection and build the human being. RHF Secretary General Dr. Mustafa Sayed extended deepest thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for his fatherly care for the RHF-sponsored families, as well as for his unwavering support for the RHF's work and projects. Dr. Sayed praised the constant support enjoyed by the RHF from the government by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, paying tribute to His Highness Sheikh Nasser for leading humanitarian work in Bahrain through the RHF. He asserted that the Prince Mohammed bin Fahad Award for Best Charity Performance in the Arab World adds to the RHF's numerous awards and achievements, expressed pride in the honoring which he said crowns the RHF's tireless humanitarian and charitable efforts. He paid tribute to the role played by various institutions and ministries in supporting the RHF's work, namely the Royal Court, the Foreign Affairs Ministry, the Health Ministry, the Information Affairs Ministry, and the Labor and Social Development ministry in addition to companies national institutions and citizens The first Vice President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, Chairman of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, expressed his pleasure with the final stage of the heavyweight competition in the strongest man in the Gulf Championship, which demonstrated the great level and preparation that the contestants went through to participate in this stage, reflecting their high abilities and potentials that contributed to the success of the event. He, His Highness affirmed that this championship was able to impose itself strongly on the Gulf Sports Arena in its first version through the wide participation by competitors from the GCC countries, adding that such tournaments contribute to supporting the sports field in the region. His Highness added that such competitions encourage Gulf youth to practice this type of sports, giving them the opportunity to change on the health and physical level and motivate them towards more sports development in various regional, continental and international participations. His Highness Sheikh Khalid praised the efforts of the organizing committee in holding the championship despite the exceptional circumstances opposed by the COVID-19 pandemic, stressing that the committee was able to implement all precautionary measures that contributed to preserving the safety of the organizers and participants. His Highness congratulated the winners of the first places, wishing the best of luck to the rest of the participants in the upcoming tournaments. The president of the National Institution for Human Rights, the NIHR, Maria Khoury, expressed utmost regret and surprise at the statement issued by the European Parliament regarding human rights in the Kingdom of Bahrain, which ignored the kingdom's great efforts to boost and protect human rights. Khoury affirmed NIHR's categorical rejection of the statement, which is incompatible with the truth, and ignores the kingdom's rich human rights record brought about since the beginning of the royal reform era and the approval of the National Action Charter by an overwhelming majority of the Bahraini people in 2001. Khoury pointed out that the European Parliament, which has long-standing relations with the Kingdom of Bahrain, should have communicated with national bodies, which enjoy total autonomy in handling human rights issues, to obtain credible information. The President of the NIHR affirmed the need for the European Parliament to rely on credible information from official parties or the independent national bodies before issuing any statement that might affect its credibility. She underlined the Foundation's readiness to fully cooperate with it concerning human rights in the Kingdom of Bahrain with utter professionalism and credibility. The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that 312,119 had taken the first dose of the vaccine, while 210,225 had taken the second. The ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccine. 
Meanwhile, the Ministry of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 6,174 with 754 recoveries and 744 registered new cases. 251 of the new registered cases were expatriates, 478 were contacts of active cases and 15 were travel related. The ministry announced the death of a 69-year-old male citizen from COVID-19 and expresses its heartfelt condolences to the family of the deceased and urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus.